so I'm probably deranged but I simply got to put a put a video up it's been a week so I wouldn't want y'all thinking that I was abducted by aliens unlike zebra shark who has in fact been abducted by aliens <laughs> um, it appears he's uh, pulled his videos down too it's a uh, it's sad I like him. I like when he's part of the discourse. I, I really think he'll be back, though. Um, catching up a little bit from last weekend in uh, in today's edition of Chatting with Mike. Um, good stuff with the property, with reward audacity. Um, other things going on. The talk about taxation. I had this crazy thought about taxes that... If, if for whatever reason things happen and we happen to be the ones sitting at the table to rebuild rebuild things, how do you avoid falling into the trap that we're in currently if it is in fact a trap? Do you, is it, is it a matter of you just end up with being trillions upon trillions of dollars in debt or what? You know, what keeps people from actually freaking out when they have to pay crazy taxes. I mean, it was recently just a few weeks ago as of this recording that we had to do our taxes. So I was thinking about it and I think the answer lies in tax withholding. So because our taxes are pulled out of our paycheck before we ever even see the money, we're not nearly as upset as we would be if we had to cut a check or actually bring cash, like, could you imagine having to bring physical cash down for your taxes at, at a certain day in April? I think you'd see something very different. And I'm basing that on, there was a, there was a money management guy and I don't know, he was that nerdy guy. Oh, I can't think of what his name is, man, my brain. But he suggested as a good way to save money is to buy things with cash so you really you really feel that purchase you're not just simply swiping a card you're you're feeling an, a quantity of of item leave you better yet imagine if you had to pay your taxes in silver and gold <laughs> one you'd have to buy silver and gold and then two you'd have to bring it down there you'd really feel it then so that was my thoughts on uh taxation other thought I had was uh, Mike saying that the first caveman that that suggested that they had an idea and was taking charge needed to have his head caved in. Um, I briefly, for a few minutes, put up a video about this, but I don't think the first caveman actually was the one who decided to take charge. He just the first caveman who was in charge was the baddest guy who actually took down a woolly mammoth by himself. And everybody was so impressed that they just lifted him up, you know? The second caveman that thought that it was cool to be and get what that first caveman got is your problem, I think. Huh. Well, that's something. That's kind of rude. Okay. So here's what I just saw. I'm driving down the road. And there was, there was this spot. Have you ever seen along the road... Sned, I don't know if they do this in England or not, but if somebody dies along the road, they almost make a, a, a makeshift uh, shrine, and they put different things up, like flowers and balloons and everything else. Well, there's been a, a shrine of sorts set up partway on my way home for a person who had just passed away, and everything was just flat out cleaned up, like as if the county came by and cleaned it up. That's just raunchy, man. I think one, it's raunchy that they would do it in the first place, like some some old paper paper stamping jack booted thug. Or two, whoever the cold hearted person that would complain about something like that. Ah, ah, weird, weird. So that catches y'all up. I've made my video. <laughs> I've said my piece. I hope all y'all are doing well, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Let me see if I can reach down here and shut this joker off and hopefully it turned out semi-decent. Alright, let's see. Oop.